Happening today, 50 years ago, the Apollo 11 astronauts launched from the Kennedy Space Center on a historic mission to the moon. On July 16, 1969, the world watched as the crew of Apollo 11, astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins blasted off from Earth. Well, their mission were to become the first humans to land on the moon. And CBS 4's Chris Martinez is live at the Kennedy Space Center with more on this breakthrough flight. Chris. And Lauren and Carly, we do expect thousands of people here at the Kennedy Space Center and the Visitors Complex to look back on this historic mission that launched the space program to new heights. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, this exhibit celebrating the Apollo 11 mission is drawing crowds from around the globe, 50 years after the space flight captivated the world. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. The Apollo 11 mission launched from Florida on July 16, 1969 at 9.32 a.m. Four days later, the spacecraft's crew of Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins successfully landed on the moon, taking Man's first steps on the lunar surface. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I think the most rewarding part of uh, Apollo 11 was having it to be the major event in my life, which changed my life entirely. From launch to return, the Apollo 11 mission lasted eight days. But before the flight to space could even happen, scientists and engineers here on Earth had to figure out how to pull off the impossible. Well, that rocket has Explorer 1 on the top of it. John Cassani was part of the team charged with designing rockets capable of getting a spacecraft to the moon. After the mission's success, he says the so-called Apollo effect led to a surge of interest in engineering and space. And that's the thing that uh, really enabled the whole uh, space exploration program to move forward after that. The fact that we had to fill the pipeline with the kind of talent and uh, people with the interest in, uh, in what was required. That one small step for man paving the way for decades of new missions to the final frontier. And that includes new missions to the moon called the Orion program. NASA hoping to launch the first test flight for Orion by the end of next year with plans on sending astronauts back to the moon in 2024. Lauren Carley, back to you.